I got uh, these cute guys here and I want to pick a random array and pick randomly one of them in this array and this array should be uh, of more rows than number of these items uh, in my case and uh, let's see what I can do with that uh, first of all I will uh, import my function from uh, my previous video called rent between array which will be handy in my case uh, for this I will go to menu uh, data named functions and import function here uh, I'll type random to help this uh, file be found now I found this and I want rent between array I'll find this function here it is I click on it and I go down here uh, and uh, click import let me show you this button import yeah like that so now I have this run between array and let's try it rent between array I want 25 elements starting from one and ending to how much of them uh, I'll get it with rows of this data so now I got a number of rows of my elements and mode one not uh, in, in order not to recalculate you see now I type something it does not recalculate my functions due to this mode one so I get uh, I got a rent between array yep starting from one ending with seven because I got seven elements counted by rows of this data and then I just want to pick a random element how would I do with a uh, uh, index function index of these I'll make it with a four I'll lock this array so it will remain the same uh, for each row and which number of row these and etc uh, and I'll copy this formula down now I have uh, my function but if I want to make it also like an array function you see now my guys are uh, selected in a random uh, way so uh, I see them each row and, and each row is randomly picked for me so it's like a random peak uh, or something like this function but I cannot do it with array because if I do these like uh, and try it as an array function it will not work you see if I delete all these extra functions it won't work because array of arrays is not supported uh, but if to be more precise it was not supported supported earlier but now it is supported and now we have a function one way I will show you one uh, option how you can choose this with make array function I'll do another function called make array uh, number of rows is also 25 because you remember I wanted 25 rows of data and number of columns is 2 because I have 2 columns of initial data but I can get it also with this fancy function columns uh, I'll uh, use it and next I will use lambda of row and column index and next I want to select the same random I want to pick something random from uh, here you see I selected large by mistake it must be lambda uh, next I want to index of this uh, uh, this array and which row I would like I would like a row of, of my random arrays and uh, of, of this index so I also also use index yeah index of this reference of my random picked arrays and I want it will be a, a index R because I'm inside lambda and R is my row number I'll close my index here uh, and next I will need column C 
because it will be always from column A to column B. So, so column A is this, column B is this. Well, in my in my case, it's B is C, but it not, doesn't matter. It's column number one, column number two, and so forth in my index sequence. And you see, now it works as an array. And uh, the only one thing I want to pack this random array inside this, I will use lambda too for this. I will create lambda for me and it will be a, a random array sequence or array named parameter for these and I close it and I will give it this uh, this f through e and so I give it like this and now I can replace it with array in my index and it will give me a random array so the same result but now I can uh, insert this formula here so I will have it as intermediate formula intermediate function and let's see I'll close this window to show you the whole formula so now you can see it is a single formula which brings a random element from here and uh, now I can go ahead and uh, do it as uh, a random pick function but I also want to change this 25 I want it to be from cell for now let it be cell E 25 I put 25 here and I'll reference this cell a bit later I will show you why I, I used this uh, reference from another cell when I copy this control C Next, I will go to da data named functions and uh, add a new function called random peak. Now, if I paste here, control V, you will see these two suggestions. And now I can click them and this E2 is how many? Define and now it defines it for me and this is data Or initial data and I also define uh, Now I have this random peak. I click next uh, I want to leave this blank because it is optional and now I have my random peak named function. Let's see how to use it now I'll Just type rand and I'll see this random peak how many I want 10 now and data these okay click enter and now you see uh, this how many works as a random peak and it works as a named function uh, so you see it and you can reuse it in uh, and also use it in your other spreadsheets too isn't it great it's like it's just great i love it very much